Welcome to TerryWilson3.com. This is the Terry Wilson, really? Uh, hey, Tony, this is Terry Wilson with TerryWilson3.com. How are you? You personally are calling me back. Get ready to discover, develop, and monetize your skills and talents with Terry Wilson. Thanks, Chris, for B. This is Terry Wilson, and you are listening to TerryWilson3.com. This is episode 387, and tonight we are talking about how what you are going through sometimes feels like a setback, but it could be a setup or an advancement. You're going to hear me interview one of our top elite coaches and her story of being downsized by a large corporation. After losing her salary for over a well, it's a salary for over $100,000 a year, she lost her pension, she lost her benefits and everything that she was familiar with. She is rebuilding her professional life now with TW3 and I can't wait for you to hear that conversation. As a matter of fact, that conversation was so nice, Lindsay, we had to have it twice. <laughs> wait, what? Uh, me and Miss Spelling Bee, I came uh, back from our little adventure up in North Carolina when we were um, doing the little bicycle thing on the trails yeah. and all that. And um, got back kind of two o'clock. That's going to. We was going to record it and everything. I was proud of you for riding a bike, by the way. Well, I was, uh, if, <laughs> it's not my favorite activity. I'll tell you I'm that. I'm aware. Right <laughs> but I went out there and we got back and, uh, anyhow, I got here. We had a lovely conversation. Thank you, baby. Uh, and, um, I forgot to hit one button over here. And so no. that whole conversation wasn't recorded. So we had to. Talk again. <laughs> but, but, but it Boy, was, I bet she was happy with that. She's like, I didn't like talking to you the first time. <laughs> and, you know, so anyway, it was a wonderful uh, conversation we had, and I can't wait to play it for our members. They're going to really, really enjoy that. But before uh, we get into that, I want to introduce our panel. All the way from up the street, Miss CBD Oil is back after o- ODing on CBD Oil last week. Listen. <laughs> Guys, there are some weeks where it happens. It just happens. The CB, <laughs> the CBD is just too good. I mean, too good. And by the way, yes. my friend is making an elderberry syrup with CBD flour in it. Oh. So you'll get your chill factor yeah, yeah. and your flu prevention <laughs> in one hit. <laughs> I'm super duper pumped. Well, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to try it out. Anyway, well, I hope you're doing well. I know we normally get to talk, but you came straight in and started talking to Gina. And literally, guys, she I sat mean, down in this chair five seconds before we hit How go. can I not love Gina? <laughs> Gina is my girl, and I haven't seen her in forever because she keeps taking her on vacations well, all over the world. Yeah, uh, we, we do enjoy our time together and, and travel and stuff like that. So that was fun this year. And to my left, and, and Lindsay's right, I have to always do the, the backward thing here. My son and whom I'm well pleased. This one's me, right? The tyrant of tickets. That's me. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm sorry. I said son of Light River. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say I was confused. <laughs> <years. laughs> how you doing, Reagan? I'm good. I'm how, good. How is uh, things in ticket support this seems week? Seems good. Pretty chill. Pretty everybody chill. Everybody seems to have everything. Uh, in line. Does that everybody... mean I should send you some? Nope, that's not what it means. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> everybody's getting their uh, questions answered. And... God, I hope so. <laughs> I would hate to be like, yeah, no, everything, every single thing. Is taken care of, and there's one person like, I hate that guy. I hate that guy. You didn't answer me yet. My ticket's still open, <laughs> but for the most part, I think so. Well, good, 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 good. So that's that's awesome. Uh, here at TW3, for you guys that are not members, we have a ticket support that when the trainer uh, can't help, the video doesn't help, the um, the weekly uh, live training I do with members, when that's not enough, they can also send in a ticket to to sort of help them as well. And over off screen, unfortunately, uh, tonight. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Howdy. Wait, we gave River a mic? We gave River a mic. It's going to be a good show. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, last week you were out. I was out. So he sat in that chair right what? there. That's right. He sat That's in right. Lindsay's oh, chair. He was I'm going to lose my job. I'm telling you, you better be careful. That's what I'm saying. You better ease up on that CBD oil. You got I some. better. <laughs> but uh, he was over there and helping us out, so that was great. And so uh, they, they are in the studio tonight. And, Reagan, what have you got for the people? So let's see here. Uh, we're going to be taking your questions after our interview with Miss Spelling Bee. Um, if you have any questions, simply enter them into the chat. So it's like a YouTube chat. Just type your questions out there. 
Um, we're going to try and answer as many as we can in segment three of the show. Uh, also, we have TW3 members on the live stream tonight that can also answer your questions in the live chat um, as well. Um, remember to keep your comments positive, relevant, and clean. And then it says, no cussing Lindsay. Really? Specifically <laughs> in the... <laughs> really? I, I pointed her out. <laughs> specifically, Lindsay, you were allowed to curse. Lindsay, when have y'all ever heard anything but... <laughs> encouragement and joy from my mouth. Come on now. Well, it was and about, peace. It was I encourage peace. About eight minutes ago, I heard. Oh, <laughs> come on. I'm messing with you. Go ahead. Well, I want to encourage everyone to get tickets to the You Are Worth More conference. This is very, very important. Get them while they're available. You just have a few left, and trust me, you want to be there. There's going to be so many cool speakers. It's going to be super duper awesome. And ask anyone who came in the past conferences, and they will let you know that it is well worth your time and well worth your investment. So go to Worth More Conference to get your tickets, and you need to run because there's only a few available. Yeah, it's selling out. It's going to be it's going to be a, a great time together, and uh, I think it's a great investment uh, for anybody who wants to take their careers to the next level. So we are giving away a free copy of You Are Worth More Tonight to someone who shares our live stream now. Share this live show to your favorite social media platform with the hashtag TW3Podcast387. All right. So share the podcast. That's just a little share button there on uh, uh, YouTube, and uh, it'll go out, and uh, we will pick someone that uh, wins that later. And... For you members, I sent out a special thing that uh, you'll be able to give away. Uh, whoever wins the contest tonight will also be able to give something away to their folks that are on tonight. So just look at the rules there and how to win that. Uh, we're giving gifts away and giving books away on top of what we're doing to the general audience uh, tonight as well. Uh, I'm also going to go uh, going to throw in some free leads. Uh, so share that hashtag. And if we pick you, we will also give you five free hot leads that have just opted in if you are a member. So if you're a member and you win tonight, you're also going to get a uh, five free leads on top of uh, the free signed book as well. Okay, so just uh, check that out. When we get back from break, you're going to hear that conversation with me and Miss Spelling Bee, and uh, you're going to hear how uh, I love. Listen, guys, I'm a I am a sucker for a David and the Giant, you know, underdog story you know because i think it relates everybody i mean everybody in here has had somebody treat them wrong you've had something go wrong you've had disappointment you've had you've been whatever and to find and watch and see how other people fight back from that and uh just don't let it knock them off course but just keep on rolling it's always encouraging to me and so we've got a special special trainer that uh, we'll be interviewing tonight right after this break you know, if you've ever listened to my podcast, you've heard me say it a thousand times. Earners are learners and leaders are readers. If you want to go to the next level, you do have to grow to the next level. And growth happens by the people you hang around and listen to the most. Seth Grodin says you're the sum total of five people you hang around the most. And that is why you need to go to terrywilson3.com slash free book and get a free audiobook just to try out the services. Here's the deal. Over 70,000 different authors from every type of genre genre that you could think of. Go over there, pick one that you like, something that's going to inform you, something that's going to inspire you, something that's going to illustrate what you need to do next. Try out the service. If you don't like the service, cancel it and you get to keep that free audiobook. But you're going to love the service and I promise you, if you will commit yourself to listening and learning from those who have gone where you want to go, you can go there also. So go to terrywilson3.com slash free book today. Try out the service and get a free audiobook just for trying it out. TerryWilson3.com slash free book. Let me ask you a serious question. Do you know what your unique value is? That thing that sets you apart from everyone else in your business. You know where to go and how to find it. If you said no, I want to encourage you. Get my new book, You Are Worth More. You can go over to youareworthmorebook.com and it goes into what your unique value is, where and what it is, the imperative for you to win and acquire more out of life, how to increase your income by using these unique values that you have, a way to scale and increase your impact both 
personally and professionally, how others are succeeding in spite of perceived limitations, how to tap into your creative genius, actionable steps to earn unlimited income, and ways to leverage tools to increase your productivity. That's all the things you're going to learn in a very informative, inspiring, and illustrative way. If you go over to youareworthmorebook.com, youareworthmorebook.com, hear me now or feel me later, as I like to say, you are worth more. In the moment, the very moment you start believing it and receiving it, you'll start acting upon it and you will start having it. And now back to our show with Terry Wilson. So I tell you, one of the things that I have loved uh, about this business, about TW3, about what we do here, is not what it's done for me personally, but what it's done for so many other people. You know, uh, I was on, uh, and one of the things I'm, I'm loving seeing you guys, Tom from Chi Town, Miller Time, and some of you other guys that are taking some of the training we're doing and some of the other things. And man, you're already branching out and got your own shows, got your own thing that's going on. That is so awesome. One of the things I said on one of the shows the other day was, uh, if it'll work for one, it'll work for all. What I meant by that, uh, cause I wanted to clarify that. I always looked at TW3 like this. What is this? This is a tool. It's a hammer and this, it will work. If it works for me, it can work for anyone else. Will it work for everyone else? Maybe, maybe not. It depends on the hands that it's in. It depends on how committed those hands that it's in will will be diligent enough to learn how to operate it and use it. And first time you swing it, you might hit your fingernail rather than the nail. You know, second time you might miss the nail. And, and you know, you could do all kinds of things. It's a crazy analogy. But all what you're going to hear tonight, what you're seeing tonight, and what you're hearing by all these other members, all it is is tools. That's all it is. And it doesn't just work for me. It doesn't just work for this person. It doesn't just work for that person. It has worked for a slew of people. Now, does it work for everyone? No. But can it work for everyone? I argue, yes, but who knows when, how long it takes. For the majority of people, we're seeing them grab a hold of these things and really take off. But for you guys that uh, have grabbed a hold of it already and, and getting in and maybe haven't seen success in your first week, two weeks, month, two months, don't worry about it. Stay diligent of learning the skill sets and the tools that we're laying out for you. Because I've said it once, and you probably, if you've been on these podcasts, you've probably heard me say it a thousand times. Some of our top recruiters, some of our top trainers, some of our top earners at TW3 that are using it to resell, that are using it to generate leads for their own insurance business, real estate business, direct sales business, whatever they're in. Some of my top people took six months, a year, a year and a half before they saw their first dime. So don't worry about it. Let's get in. I am so, uh, it's an honor and a privilege to introduce a lady that uh, we had a great time and great conversation with. I affectionately call her Miss Spelling Bee. So let's listen uh, to that conversation right now because I think you're really going to like it. Well, let's get it started. Miss Lori, good to have you on tonight. Um, Tell the people a little bit about yourself. Uh, what's your background? You know, what industry, what business did you come from before you came to us at TW3? Well, um, Terry, thanks for the opportunity um, tonight. I um, worked in the advertising and marketing uh, industry, specifically with AT and T and and Yellow Pages, and that's I know some people kind of think that's old school. Um, and, it, and it's getting there, um, but I spent 16 years as a sales rep, internet sales manager, area sales manager, inside sales, premise sales, um, and spent probably uh, the last 10 of the years that I was there as a corporate sales trainer. I worked really, really hard um, to, you know, get promoted and um, learn my craft, and um, what happened was um, AT&T had sold their Yellow Pages off, and that became a new company, and then that company was bought by another company, and you know what happens when two very large companies with thousands of employees merge, 
they have too many employees. So mm. I was kind of, you know, pushed out the door after I had to go train my replacements. I, oh, I wow. got pushed out the door and, uh, you know, I, I was faced with, uh, well, there goes my pension. There goes my health insurance. There goes all my benefits. And so I was really faced at that time with, you know, do, and I was looking for a job, just like many of our members are just looking for a job. And that's sure. why we're sort of in that space. Um, and that's when I came across TW3 um, because of my experience in advertising, marketing, and training and coaching, it really aligned up with what my skill set, my experience was, sure. and really what I really like to do and what I was interested in. And so, you know, me looking for a job, I was like, I don't want to start all over with a new company. And, you know, that's, you Starting know, I was kind of thinking, level. yeah, yeah I, I mean, why would I want to do that? So that's how I got involved. And I'll tell you, I, I also had to replace a hundred thousand dollar a year income. And so when I got involved with TW3, it really, really spoke to me um, because it, it has met my needs. It's exceeded what my needs are. Um, I'm learning, I'm growing, um, I'm learning new skills while still, you know, kind of focusing on what my, my knowledge base is. And your core. Um, Right. And, and just really my, my love and desire of, it's really about helping other people um, and coaching and developing them all the while I'm, sort of developing myself too with new skills and new knowledge. So I'm just, I'm just in love with it. Hmm. Love, love, love it. Well, their loss is our gain. I mean, they lost a gym because <laughs> you are, <laughs> you are a rock star and, uh, you know, you, you took off like everybody did a little bit here, a little bit there. And then here in the last, uh, uh, it seems like the last month or so you have really, uh, gain a couple months, gained a lot of traction. I mean, it's not onesie twosie. It's like boom, 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 uh, that, uh, we're seeing in your business. And that's just awesome to see the growth. Got to meet you at the, the conference last year. And, uh, I think I'll let you tell the story. Uh, you are affectionately and forever will be in this family, the misspelling bee, but, uh, I'll let you explain to the audience how you so rightfully earned that title. <laughs> Well, th- that was kind of funny. Um, I I was at the conference, and by the way, folks, if if you're if you don't have your ticket yet, you have to find a way to get to the conference. You absolutely do not want to miss it. Um, I was at the conference last uh, March, and you know I was kind of a, a new member at that time, and I was. I'm a front row sitter. I sit, (laughs) you know, I sit in the front row at church. I sit in the front row in a class or any sort of gathering like that. So I was in the front row and Terry was given one of his presentations (laughs) where he was using a PowerPoint and, um, he, he was speaking about how he, I I can't even remember, (laughs) but it had to, it had to do with. I think I stepped on my own headline because of the. (laughs) It, it had to do with being intelligent or not having to be intelligent <laughs> or having to be intelligent. But the irony was, is that he misspelled the word <laughs> intelligent. <laughs> and, you know, I'm kind of geared to proofreading because, you know, when we printed ads in the phone book, they had to be proofread. So I'm just like, honed in on (laughs) misspellings and things. So I absolutely couldn't resist um, myself. And I had to mention the fact that Terry had misspelled the word intelligent and laughter ensued in the whole room. Um, I I hope I didn't. Terry laughed. I I hope he thought it was funny. I thought it was hysterical. I (laughs) I have forever been known ever since as <laughs> Miss Spelling Bee. So funny story. Funny story. Uh, but I think it serves a greater point. Um, 
because it uh, it sort of um, reinforces, unfortunately, <laughs> my whole argument, which is you don't have to be great to be good. You just have to be active and get started. Uh, That's right. And you, you've probably been in this business and even uh, with your coaching and training and uh, working with Yellow Pages and that organization, Human Nature is Human Nature. You get a new person in, excited, ready to rock and roll, ready to, to, to really realize all the potential and all the promise that they see in the opportunity and seeing other people experience in the opportunity. And so... But there's this thing inside of them that have everything, every single I has to be dotted, every T has to be crossed, everything has to be perfect before they do the first what I call money making activity, which is just getting in front of that person and talking to them. Um, and uh, you know, if I had to wait till I could spell, I would never do a presentation <laughs> or or a podcast or a blog content or anything else. Uh and, you know, you're right, Terry. You know, there's a saying, if you wait to have kids until you can afford them, you would never, exactly. you would never have any kids. You do not have to wait until every I is dotted and every T crossed um, or or you will forever be, you know, trying to get to that point where you think that it has to be perfect before you start anything it, this is a learning process, right. and you know, as, as long as you can follow directions, um, take coaching advice, and follow the plan, the plan works. Just get to where you can learn those fundamentals, so that you can get yourself in a in a situation, position yourself where you are talking to customers, you are building the activity. Um, with that foundational knowledge and then plan on just like anything, you're going to build those skills, um, you know, get some muscle memory with some of the tech stuff. It's like, you know, learning to play the guitar or learning to play the piano. There's a muscle memory thing that just Absolutely. sort of happens over time. Um, and yeah. you just, you know, sometimes it's, it's almost like call anxiety where you're kind of afraid that first call that you take or that first person that you speak with, um, you almost avoid it because you're, you've got the anxiety to, to sure. just start. So that's the, the, the thing you have to get past is that, you know, first that. time anxiety yeah. and, and just get past it. And I think that when you, uh, when you and and that could happen to you over months and months sure um where where you sort of fall back into that you know call anxiety um but so you just have to work yourself through that and and keep going and keep up your activity because um that's where your success is going to come from is it's from the activity if you don't speak with anyone, you're not going to sell anything. Sure. You're not going to help anybody. Um, so, you know, you just need to position yourself for the, for the most possible success that you can have. Put the numbers in your favor. And, and the more, the more you're in front of people, the more you're in front of qualified people, um, the, the better you're going to be, even if you're just, an average to below average subpar salesperson. You know, you've heard me say the old mixed metaphor, a blind hog will find a, uh, an acorn every once in a while. You know, even if you're not equipped to, to hunt for acorns, if you're out there looking and digging, you know, uh, through, through the muds and through the whatever, you're eventually going to run across something, you know, uh, but you just got to be out there, you know, doing the activity, like you said. I want to, you know, for people that are on tonight and listening or listening to this podcast later, um, I want to pivot a little bit here and ask you, you know, the, for that person that hasn't joined TW3 or, or, and is looking at this, maybe they've spoken to you or maybe they have spoken to another rep here. You have come from a, uh, marketing background already. A lot of times we, we work with people that 
don't have any experience in marketing. You got some in sales, but not in marketing. Um, but you, with the experience of Yellow Pages and the other things that you did with them, um, you had that experience, and then you came to TW3. How did having experience help you, and how did it challenge you? Because you know, experience cuts both ways. Sometimes it gives you a leg up, and sometimes it gives you a, oh, I've got to relearn this because this is different type mentality and, and you're having to fight through old muscle memory. So I don't want to put you on the spot, but because uh, this is not a question I sort of sent to you beforehand, nor did we record it beforehand. <laughs> Whole new content here. But, uh, you know, because sometimes I, I'll see, what I'm trying to get at is with you, I've seen people in with your experience before struggle way more than you have uh with us you know getting started and i'm trying to figure i'm trying to isolate why did with your experience it served as an asset to you it seems like more than it did a a challenge to oh i've got to relearn this because this is done completely different than what it was done before can you think of or know of any reason i mean why you know how has that uh, history helped instead of hurt you well I think it has to do with with your approach and your attitude, honestly, Terry. Okay. Um, if, if we always remain in in life as disciplined learners, then that means we're always open to receiving um, new knowledge or learning new skills. And and someone that comes in with you know, a certain advertising or marketing background, they might have the attitude that, hey, I already know it all. There is no room for me to improve because I'm already a 10. When that can't possibly be true. You know, if if you're um, a, a brain surgeon, um, there, you know, there's always room to improve sure. that, right? So it's mindset. So it was just strict. It's absolutely a mindset. Because you were sitting on the front row at the conference. I mean, you were there with pen and paper ready to learn. So I, I that's av- obviously, you know, an attribute. Um, but it's just so unique because uh, I don't know if, uh, I'm not going to say you're a unicorn, but most of the time I start worrying a little bit if, if on the resume, they say, yeah, we've got internet marketing background. We've got marketing background. We've got this. It's not that they can't, and we have several that do, but sometimes it's been my experience that can be a little bit more of a challenge than a, an asset. I say, yeah, I think, yeah, okay. Well, so, so that person with that, I mean, that, those are great backgrounds. Absolutely. Have anyone in, you know, internet marketing, SEO, um, SEM, yeah. Um, digital marketing, sales, those are all great, um, a great knowledge base, sure. but, you know, back to the mindset, you have to be open to, to learn and maybe do something a little bit differently than you're used to doing. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, it kind of goes back to, there's a plan, the plan works, just work the plan. Right. And so, you know, be open to uh, coachability. Honing, right, being being coachable, yeah. being coachable. Yeah. Um. And and I got you. I got you. Yeah, I I agree with you. I think it it is all mindset. It's just it's so interesting, and and I don't want to sh- throw shade on anybody with that uh, experience. I mean that that you're right. That's the knowledge base. I mean, it can be a huge one up because there's certain just knowledges that man if you just shift it a little bit here or there, just tweak it uh, to fit within the new paradigm you're working with. And it can be, but sometimes um, I think it's right people. And I don't know if they understand it cognitively. I mean, if they're conscious about it, if it's just on a subconscious, I think people um, know having to learn a new thing is a fearful thing sometimes to a lot of people, you know, it's just, I, I guess I'm the same way in that regards. I'm a creature of habit. I guess we all are. And it's very uncomfortable to be put in an uncomfortable position. And what's an uncomfortable position in business to me is in a, in a world that's changed on you. And, you know, cause I, we deal with it every day, people, 20, 30, 40 year uh, careers in a certain thing. And then the whole industry, this macro change happens. And all of a sudden you wake up one day and it's no longer about, you know, picking up the phone and cold calling. It's about 
writing good ad copy, good banner copy, uh, driving traffic through a clickable thing, through a funnel. And you're like, wow, what's a, what's a funnel? <laughs> you know, sending it to an autoresponder, you know, and all this language and terminology and, and concepts that uh, marketing concepts you have to sort of get up to speed on. I can see how it can be so overwhelming, even for the, the most experienced person. Um, and, and you know what, Terry, e even for the inexperienced, so, you know, say someone has no experience in, in advertising or marketing or, or anything like that, all those things can be taught, yes. right? Yes. They can be coached. They can be taught. There's and learned. training yep. and they can be learned provided that that person, you know, puts in the effort for their self edification. Yes. What, what cannot be taught what cannot be given is that entrepreneurial mindset where, you know, c can you do it? Do you want to do it? Are you persistent? Are you tenacious? Um, are you a, a go getter? Can you work independently? Yes. Can you, can you even put yourself kind of out there on the line? Um, Fortitude. I know when I start, Right. And I know when I started, you know, when I lost my job, that was uncomfortable, let me sure. tell you. Um, and, you know, I was faced with, you know, do, do I do this? You know, what if I fail? You know, I've, you know, I've ruined my family financially. What? So that that's kind of what my driver has been is I refuse to fail. I refuse to fail. So, you know, my motto in sales has always been persist without exception. Mm. You have to persist without exception. And what that means is you set a goal and you keep persisting until you reach or exceed that goal. You can't come up on a deadline and or, you know, at a certain point and say, well, I I almost made it and gosh, I've worked so hard. I almost made it and I'm ready to, to just lay back. Now. Sort of spike the ball on the 20 yard line. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, you know, do you want to score a touchdown or kick a field goal? Right. right. Um, so, you know, you, you just have to word, word of advice and something I have lived by persist without exception. That's awesome. I think we talked in our, in our, um, what do we refer to the, the former conversation, the tech training conversation, <laughs> tech practice <laughs> version of this interview? Uh, I mentioned, you know, and I still, it's true, you know, uh, the greatest gift I was given was the, the failure that I, f I faced in 08, you know, because I wouldn't be here today if I wasn't put in a position where I had to sink or swim, do or die, you know, because the world I was in fell apart, you know, the economy fell apart. The industry I was in was in rapid decline because it was tied to the housing market. And, uh, you know, as Simon Sinek said in his book, Start With Why, before I read that, but probably before that book was even written, that's how I got started. I had a why. I had five children and a wife that wanted to eat. And because I was already an entrepreneur, there was no benevolence given by government or anybody else, you know, because you didn't pay in the system, you don't, you don't live off the system. So, uh, you know, I had to, to come up with something quick and as painful as that was at the time, it was the greatest gift it was ever given to me, you know, cause, uh, I didn't have options, but to succeed. <laughs> and, and Terry, you're right about that. And you know, it's those things that we experience throughout life that makes us who we are today. Yeah. And even, you know, not to get preachy here, but. God enters all things yeah. with his goodness, even the failures, even, Absolutely. you know, the, the bad things that might happen to you, there, there is goodness in there. And it, you know, it's that person that can, can kind of take that experience. It makes you who you are as, as a person. Absolutely. And, and, you know, sometimes that's where our growth comes from. The greatest is, growth, is, yeah. It, it, the greatest growth. It comes from picking yourself up, you know, getting your attitude right, and and just refusing to accept failure. And 
you know, start with something new, start again, keep going, keep persisting without exception. It might be in something different than you were doing. Absolutely. And everything and keep your eyes wide open while you're in the process. <clears throat> there was a lot of things that after my business failed, I had no idea, you know, and, and I'm going to stay on the religious vein for just a second with your permission as well. You know, he says he'll work things, all things together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. Oh, well, I'm in this process. I'm like, well, how's all this going to work together for my good? Right. Uh, I'm on my hands and knees selling vacuum cleaners. I'm out peddling to my friends, family and foes, you know, term life insurance, but it's captive agency. I'm having, I'm having to do all these side hustle jobs uh, that just didn't, didn't resonate with my soul <laughs> like the music business did. So I'm not only have I, I've lost a, a means of income, but I've since I've also sort of lost a sense of purpose because it just wasn't, you know, what I didn't feel like me. But through that whole process, I'm developing new marketing skill sets that I never used before, never had to use before, uh, from how to book appointments with the insurance world to how to use marketing incentives with the vacuum cleaner world uh, to how to tie all that together with a sales narrative. All of these things that we teach at TW3 now came because I was in the grind uh, in a process of uh, trying to get things to work back together for my good, you know, and um, going back to your thing of fortitude and persistence, you know, I, I taught one time on that passage over where Paul says, you know, comfort those with the same comfort you've been comforted with. And, and the one thing I think uh, that I heard a preacher say one time, that's just so true. If your persistence is tougher, stronger, and more resilient than your resistance, you will always win. But it's up to you on the persistence. You know, what do you pour into your persistence? What does that mean? What does that look like? What is that daily activity? And one of the toughest things I've talked to, um, you know, uh, coaches that in the in the wellness, and it's why I struggle sometimes losing weight, is you do this activity, you do this, and you don't see the immediate results you want. You don't see the immediate weight loss. You don't see the immediate this, immediate that. Sometimes you plateau. And so you give up on the activity. Well, business is the same way. Sometimes you're there and you're, you're in your, your closet by yourself or your workspace by yourself at home. And, and Terry or Lori or one of your coaches is saying, do this, do this. And you do it, you do it. And you don't see the immediate results, but it's that activity. It's that persistence in that activity that is going to yield the results, isn't it? Exactly, Terry. And sometimes it's very difficult to, you know, you're, you're working from home, you're in your office all by yourself. And sometimes it's sort of hard to, to maintain that attitude, the, yeah. that right attitude. And so that's why I encourage everyone, you, because it's, it's very easy to feel isolated and, you know, we kind of have to feed our spirit man, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, and and that's why coming to the, the Monday night podcast and the Wednesday night training is so important. Not only are you able to learn things and ask questions, but you will know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are part of a team. You are not isolated. You're part of a team. You're part of a family. You know, we cut up, we're making <laughs> friendships with people all over the country yeah. um, from the East coast to the left coast. <laughs> and, you know, and it's really a remarkable thing to, to be, have friends, um, that you may never have even met in person, but you're friends yeah. with those people and they're on your team and they're in your family. And it's so important to feed your spirit with that. Sure. You, you, if you don't, you know, it's, it's the dog that's fed will win the fight. Right. Absolutely. So Absolutely. whoever's fed more, you know, if it's your isolation or the you know, your talk. bad attitude or yeah. right, uh, negative thoughts, if you feed that, 
then that dog will win. Absolutely. Feed the dog you want to grow the, to be the strongest. And uh, yep. you don't have to look far uh, far to see the negative Nancys, the Debbie Downers, and the Doubting Thomases and all that. I mean, most people's mindset is it is what it is. Life is for nothing but just trying to survive and, and get out halfway alive and, you know, just try to stay alive. And, and then there's these little people out there that just have a little glimpse of hope because they see other people that you don't have to just survive. You can thrive. You can be this inarticulate Absolutely. Southern redneck that can't spell. And all of a sudden speaking to <laughs> <laughs> you know millions of people around the world and, uh, you know, your limitations can don't have to be. Uh, you know, you can, you can supersede everything, you know, not to get preachy, but you can go exceedingly abundantly above all that you ever thought, dream, or imagine if you let the power within start to work, you know, and we were all created for, by, and from the purposes of greatness. So it's inside of you. If you'll just believe enough in yourself and, and believe enough uh, in your future and in your family and those things that you can have everything in life you want, as Zig says, if you'll just help enough other people get what they want. And so, uh, that's what TW three is about. you know, it's, it's, it's the cornerstone of this business is helping others. And, um, absolutely. <clears throat> and you know that, and I think that's why I just align so much with it because that, that really is my true joy is in helping other people be successful. Absolutely. And, and the beautiful thing about our business, I think the uniqueness of it, one of them is yeah you can get in this business or that business you can get in the health and wellness business you can get in the insurance business you can get in the real estate business you can get in any industry any business you want um but your ability to recruit people into that business as a means for an employment or a business opportunity is limited by the very nature of uh what that industry is not everybody's you know has fun with real estate. Some do, some don't. Not everybody likes insurance. Some do, some, some, not everybody likes health and wellness. The uniqueness about this as just looking at it straight up from just a business opportunity, not talking about the tools and all the other things, but just the, is it is sort of like the common denominator of all businesses. It's the thing that all businesses have to start with. So your ability to help other people just exponentially outgrows any other business opportunity because it doesn't matter what you're in. You got to have people to speak with. You got to have leads. You got, that's where it starts. Well, and, and that's right. And you know, that's, that's the thing when we're speaking with business owners, you know, if they're serious about their business, they need to have a tool in place that is going to help them be successful in their business. If they're missing that one tool and that is a way to generate leads for your business, they will fail. I mean, 95% of businesses fail. who open fail within the first year. Why is that? What is the missing thing? People. It, 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 well, it's, it's a tool um, to help them get right. customers. Qualified. I mean, customers. that's a, right. So what, you know, when we're speaking to those businesses, I mean, you can say if you're serious about your business, then you need to have a tool in place that's going to help you generate leads for your business and market for your business, whether they're a buyer today or a buyer next month or a buyer a year from now. Because not everyone make you know, it's understanding that customer journey. Not everyone makes a buying decision on day one. It may take them, you know, down the road. And, you know, we can do that. Absolutely. Um, we can do a push market. We can do a, a directional um, sort of uh, presence right. um, for you or a push market campaign or a pull campaign. Absolutely. Uh, or a drip campaign. We can do all those things. We can teach you how to do all those things. And you need to do all those things. I mean, uh, I can tell you after doing this now for 11 years, we just had someone on board with us last year that has been listening, listen to this. 
has been following TW3 and Terry Wilson 3.com for 10 years, for 10 years, been listening to it and, 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 and using the free training on the, the Monday night side, the podcast side as just, you know, a supplement to help them in their sales, um, position that they were in. Well, that company has since folded, uh, at the first of the year and they were still li- And they said, you know, they actually have a business opportunity about this. I ought to try it. And they've been dripped on and listening. That's why it's so important. You know, it didn't cost any extra to stay in touch with that person. It just a strategy and a methodology of making sure that they're not left behind is all it took. And then, uh, all of a sudden they come in as the elite member, you know, so it, it stay engaged with the audience that you build and the client and the, 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 the leads that you, you capture. It's so important. I think uh, people don't realize how important that is. Well, Lori, you are a gym. You're a rock star. You're a gym. Um, and, uh, I can't wait to see you at the next upcoming conference. Uh, I will be there. I'll be there. And you're going to be here in the studios Wednesday night before we start with some other elite trainers, uh, to just chew the fat and just hang out here in the TW three studios. We're going to have a special broadcast, uh, before the conference starts, uh, in March with uh, you and some others in here. And it's going to be a fun time, uh, to hang out with you guys here. So that's going to be fun. I cannot wait. I am so looking forward to that. (laughs) And uh, I'm going to send you all my material beforehand so you can proof it for me. (laughs) Okay. I will do I'm sorry. I just can't help myself. I I need it. I need it for sure. (laughs) Absolutely for sure. So, Lori, if if people want to get in touch with you, how can they get in touch with the great Miss Spelling Bee? Well, my email address is Lori Brown at 1791.com. Lori Brown. And that's L A U R I E, Brown like the color. At 1791 was the year the Constitution was adopted. And the state of in the state of Texas, is that the year it was done there? San, yep, I'm in San Antonio, Texas. Yeah, remember the. Uh, Avocado. The Alamo. Right? Oh, oh, the, no. <laughs> the avocado. Well, there's a lot of av- avocados around here, too, because, like, we eat guacamole. <laughs> Listen, you guys have got the best fajitas in the world. I went to that river walk uh, when we did a little RV trip back in the spring. Um, based on your recommendations, we rerouted yep. our whole uh, our whole RV uh, <laughs> thing just to do the Alamo and the river walk. And, uh, yeah, I was like, don't go to Dallas. Go to San Antonio. <laughs> Nobody wants to go to Dallas. Who wants to go to Dallas? <laughs> All you're going to see is a bunch of cowboys crying. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to throw shade on the cowboys. I'll get hate mail for sure. Well, <laughs> thank you so much, Lori. Enjoy the rest My of pleasure. The, the rest of the day. And thank you for, for those who don't know this, this is our second take because the first one had some technical issues, uh, because, uh, Miss Spelling Bee wasn't here helping me <laughs> figure out which button to push. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you later, girl. Well, thank you, Terry. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> And now back to our show with Terry Wilson. And that was the one and the only <laughs> Miss Spelling Bee. So I hope you enjoyed her story. I love stories like that. I love hearing how people, I, listen, guys, we've all been there. You get knocked down, but you, you get back up. You know, that's what happened. That's how this whole business got started. Yours truly got knocked down and had to come up with a way to get back up. And now I just, it is just absolutely uh, uh, wonderful for me to see how other people are using the same tools, same strategy, same everything to rebuild their lives. And so that's wonderful. But you've heard me talk enough. Let's start answering some questions. Mr. Reagan. All right. First question. Um, how long did it take you guys to consistently see income from this? So Okay. Uh, let's start with uh, Ms. Lindsay. How long did it take you once you started Act, tell the story. I'm not going to, but tell how you got in, tell how long you were in and tell all of that. So answer that. I became a member in March of, hold on. Has it been two years ago? 
A year, hmm, no, it's been a year in October. A year and a half. Well, I'm yeah, thinking yeah. about since oh, I yeah, started. Yeah, 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 since you started. It's been a year and a half now, yeah. Okay, so I, I became a member in March. Because the first conference, you, you first joined conference. at the first conference. Okay. I started selling in October. Um, once I made my first sale, I've been consistently earning an income. So that's been a solid year now. Yeah. It just took that first sale. Um, so when I had all my ducks in a row and my foundation was firmly laid, I started doing sales on October 2nd and I made my first sale either the 26th or the 28th. And then ever since then, I've made a monthly income. So you joined in March, but you really didn't start the selling side of it. because And were, I could have started earlier. And you could have. But could because have. you already had a business, you already had a home-based business, you're already doing things. Right. She was taking the training and using some of that. I was figuring it all out because I'm not a technical person. Sure. And so to wrap my mind around it and to be able to start to speak confidently to this business process was kind of a foreign language for me. Sure, sure. So so just learning the language and the vocabulary. Learning and applying and feeling good about it. You know, I wanted to, when I got on the phone with people, I wanted to be able to speak to this like I knew what I was talking about. Right, exactly. <laughs> so, But I, I certainly could have started sooner. But like you said, I had all these other irons in the fire. I'm also a homeschool mom. I'm a worship leader. And so I've got all these things going on. Right. So I right. just kind of did it on my pace, my terms. And that's the beauty of being an entrepreneur. I have multiple income streams and I tackle them when it makes sense for me. So you, when you started in October, by the end of October, you started seeing your first sale. Correct. And thereafter, you've been making consistent income there. Consistent. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. So that's a great question. Now. That is the answer from someone who, number one, said they're not that technical. And number two, um, <laughs> I was wondering what y'all were signing about. They're trying to see your pretty face on camera. Sorry. Exactly. That's all right. <laughs> but uh, now you can't hear because it's a, uh, can you, can you push it, pull it toward you and then offset it? You know how we do that. And, but yeah, then push it toward Reagan. But see, the problem is the screw uh, needs. What I was trying to do was push the mic down and bring the. This portion up. It's I got you. Can they see her better that way? Look on there and see. Slightly better, yeah. All right. Good, I'm good. about 15 seconds behind though. So. <laughs> we just, <laughs> we'll, we just we'll adjusted it again. We'll so who knows? Later. Sorry, yeah. River and Reagan. <laughs> they're, all, they're, they're just a sign in away. I was like, yeah, you know, we're all, this is a podcast. No, and deaf don't really enjoy podcasts. <laughs> but anyway, but everybody's experience is different. Correct. Yeah. And, and the people that I coach, um, I've had somebody make a sale within two weeks. Yeah. I mean, which that blew my mind because he had just barely jumped in. Yeah, yeah. And then other people, it's taken significantly longer. It's taken three to four months of coaching before right. that first sale. So, and then some, it goes out a year. I don't know if you had that, but I've had that, you know, so it's just, it's all over. Now that's that, that year process, that's an exception. And that two week is an exception. Right. The sweet spots normally within that 90 days is what yep. you start seeing. But, and if there's that selling is one way to make money. <laughs> yeah. You know, you Just can work it. on your R and P business. And if you really amp that up, then you can probably see a profit quicker. Uh, you can also offer technical services and coaching services. Right. There's so it really depends on how sales. you're using it as well. Yeah. There's so many different the, ways. The turnaround of when you're going to make money. The fastest, easiest way is actually to get the system and use it to drive leads to resell it. But mm -hmm. we don't want you to stay there. Right. Uh, that's just to get you going and then using it and learning mm -hmm. how to use it in different ways, generate leads for other companies and sell those leads. We already have a list of buyers ready to buy leads in any industry that you work in. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what we call our referral marketing, referring leads over to them. They're paying you for it. Uh, we've got that and uh, all kinds of other things. And, and then we've got ways of just driving traffic to people. And, uh, but the, anyway, cool. next question, Mr. Reagan. Right. Okay. Well, that's what right. we're doing over there the whole time. Um, can you talk about other professions besides real estate and the insurance industry that use this platform to generate leads or, uh, or can be sold leads? Well, any industry. I mean, we are in, um, we've got churches and pastors. We got authors that write books. We got people that's in health and wellness. We got people that's in direct sales that sell everything from alarm systems to roofing. Lawyers. We have attorneys and lawyers. We have chiropractors and doctors. So the medical, I mean, here here's the whole thing. The reason why TW3 works and why it's so effective is 
it is the it is the it's the it's the thing that every business needs. It's the common denominator. Every mm-hmm. everything, whether it be a church, a business, a school, everything's contingent upon people. Mm-hmm. If you don't have a people, you don't have a business. If you don't have people, you don't have a church. If you don't have people, you don't have a school. You gotta <laughs> have people. And so this yeah. generates leads. What are leads? A group of people with a certain interest that you qualify through this process. Mm-hmm. So that's why it fits and works in any industry. And we have thousands of companies and hundreds of different industries that we work with that use our platform and our members can use it for them to help uh, their grow their business and get paid as well. Cool. So. Uh, the next question was kind of similar to this one, but how do you make money with this system? Good question. <laughs> Terry Wilson three.com go there and go under the membership uh, tab and there's videos. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean, that's a open. I mean, there's a thousand different ways to make money. I'll tell you the top three. There's there's ten. We have a a thing over the top ten ways to make money with TW three. One of them's reselling it. Of course, it's a product that can be resold. What is a product? A lead generation marketing tool and system. Use that, and you can resell leads. Use that to generate traffic for other companies and get paid for it. Use it to uh, grab a hold of coaching clients and start uh, you know a uh, coaching career. Use it to uh, generate. Like Miller time, what we interviewed a couple of weeks ago, made over $143,000 in 10 months. Hadn't sold one TW3 package. He uses it to generate leads to sell his own products. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you know, there's a there's hundred different ways. <laughs> so that, that's that's how you can make money with that. Cool. That, uh, that was actually the last question. All so. right. Great questions. Great stuff tonight. I hope everybody's enjoyed it. How's our comments been going, Mr. Chat Nazi? Uh, extremely well. I am very proud of everyone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> behaved excellently tonight. You can reenact the way he did that too. He was like, <laughs> he's even on Facebook. And, oh, it, they've done well. They've done awesome. Say, everyone hey, gets a gold plus. star. Exactly. Let's keep this up, guys. I like it. <laughs> you guys are crazy. All right. Well, we're gonna give a book away right after this, and uh, and uh, let's see here. Have we already picked someone out? We have. All right. Good. So when we get back right after this, we're gonna give that book away. Have you ever tried a work from home business? If you have, you may be like several others. Matter of fact, 98% of people, according to Forbes magazine, who've tried and failed. Why? Well, there's several reasons, but the main reason is because most home-based businesses have no means, method, or mechanism for you to get in front of people who need, want, desire, and can afford what it is you offer. See, the unique thing about TerryWilson3.com is we put you in a position where if you can simply answer a phone, read a script, you can make money. And I'm not talking about going and selling pills, thrills, lotions, and potions. I'm talking about selling something that every business, everyone who has a product, good, or service needs. And that is a lead generation marketing system. But here's the cool thing. You never cold call. You never have to recruit your friends, family, and foes. You simply take a call, read a script, want more information, go to terrywilson3.com slash call center right now to get more information. That's terrywilson3.com slash call center. And now back to our show with Terry Wilson. Hey, did you see Funny Man Chris on uh, Huckabee? I didn't. You didn't tell me he was on. He was on Mike Huckabee. He opened up the show, warmed the audience up for him. Nice. Doing his little routine, his little comedy sketch. His little bit. His little bit, his little poop jokes and talking about the deaf. Yeah. And it's not like we're doing a podcast in here. We ain't, we ain't you say anything. Want, you you want to holler in the kitchen, ask him for interrupting him? I can do that now if you would like. <laughs> Go ahead, Mike. Uh, mute your microphone. All right. Watch this, guys. Keep it down on a podcast day. <laughs> We're the height of professionalism here. <laughs> That's one of the joys of podcasting from home. Sometimes you hear the home noises in the background. So, uh, Mr. Chat Nazi. Well, the winner of this book is Peggy Fogel. So congrats. Yay, Congratulations, Peggy. Peggy. I hit the mic as soon as I clap. But. <laughs> Peggy Fogel okay. has won our uh, free book. So, Peggy, here's what you got to do. Go over to terrywilson3.com slash contact. Give me your uh, mailing address. I'm going to sign a copy and send it out to you tomorrow morning. And we'll get that out to you. Members, we had a special way of winning. To- hey, is Greenbacks on? I thought he was at a birthday party. Hey, what's up, Greenbacks? Um for you members who had shout outs that came in, uh, I sent out an email how you're going to win 
uh, some leads, and we're also going to uh, give one of your clients a um, book away as well. So we're, what we're going to do is tally up after all this is said and done. We're going to tally up who got the most shout outs, and we'll contact you and let you know you won. And uh, we will give you those 25 leads, and we'll also uh, be uh, finding out from you who do you want to give a free book away and we'll be sending that away as well. Don't forget, You Are Worth More, the book is over at youareworthmorebook.com and get to the conference. Only a few, few tickets left. And uh, talk to Greenbacks, talk to Captain Quackenbush, talk to Miller Time, talk to Miss Spelling Bee, talk to anybody, Keno, if he's on here tonight, talk to anybody that was there at the conference, even talk to Lindsay if you had to. Oh. <laughs> Last case scenario. <laughs> but just if you had to. <laughs> if you can catch her when she's not on CBD oil. Uh, <laughs> but talk to anybody, and they will tell you, the conference is where it's at. I'm telling you, because you, you're going to see the system that you have if you are a TW3 member. You're going to see it come alive. You're going to see how uh, other people are using it. You're going to be able to network with them. You're going to be able to ask them questions. You're going to be able to sit down with a laptop and share war stories together. You're going to be able to hear all kinds of things. So make sure... You go to worthmoreconference.com. And the food. Oh, the food. Downtown Greenville has got some killer food. Well, as you can see, I visit downtown Greenville <laughs> more often than I ought. <laughs> but it's good. Good use of the word. I like that. Did you like that? That was good. Well, you know. That's good. Can I plug a restaurant? Uh, if you have to. I can Wait only... a minute. Wait a minute. Are we getting paid to? No. No, of course okay, not. Strike ahead. one. <laughs> no. Strike yeah. one. We'll go ahead anyway. I can only afford to eat there maybe once a year, maybe once every two is years. Is this the $100 steak place? Halls. Oh, my goodness. Is it, it good? See, what I like to do is I, I go there. there. Well, see, I live off of food that's garbage for me, mm -hmm. and then I live off of, like, food that's just really cheap, like white rice and chicken, just because, you know. Because you're a college kid. Well, and... macro chance it's good for you, like, whatever, but <laughs> right. I like to go there just to remind myself if I wasn't me and I was somebody, like, much more better you know yeah like what yep. they would be eating every day right that's what yeah. they would eat they uh, also have i can plug it um they have mcdonald's down there <laughs> oh uh, stop it now for me personally as a high school student it's only one of those once a year things like reagan said uh yeah. whenever i get like my paycheck i got like eight dollars in the account i'm feeling nice please <laughs> so um let me tell y'all where you really need to go and everybody can afford this river street suites has mm -hmm. got praline Pralines. You can get one praline for, I don't know, $3. Excuse my ignorance. Isn't a praline a nut or a... a it's it's like a, this caramel and sugar mixture over pecans. Pecans, yeah. Oh, man. And oh, gosh. I'm not a person that hmm. likes sweets. I don't like sugar. I actually don't eat sugar for the most part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I will eat a box of pralines like it's my job. Ooh. They're I love pralines. out of this world. Man, I thought that's what I, Justin <laughs> Justin says you have been to Halls. Have I? Yeah, he he's on the he's on the uh podcast now. Yeah, and he's he says, creeping. You he's creeping, creeping bae. And he he's, he's I hope he's folding some laundry at home. <laughs> they, they have this policy where it's like southern southern cooking, but yeah. like, you know, the hospitality of, you know, southern hospitality Wait, is, or whatever. Wait, do they the have food. a seafood branch as well? They may. I feel like Justin took me to the seafood branch, but maybe we haven't tried the steak branch. Maybe. Do you know? I don't know. I don't well, know. Well, the point that, that that we're all trying to make is there is some killer restaurants. There's some really killer good food. There. Food. So, guys, if Liberty. You get Liberty. Oh man, we went there. Absolutely. That was awesome. But you're going to be able to meet some great members. You're going to have some great food. We're going to have some great time. We've got a, a mixer that we're planning where we're all. Um, uh, going to be able to do that we got just a lot of good stuff and we got some surprises that we haven't announced yet so that i'm looking forward to that hopefully around christmas we can announce that i'm, I'm hoping and so i've uh, got a lot of good stuff a lot of good stuff tw3 continues to grow um we're, we're doubling just about where we're at this year compared to last year last year we doubled so the Which growth is crazy because crazy. I felt like we were pretty big last year, and then oh it's my just, word! Yeah. And members, oh, we've got so many members making such good money. I mean, not just a little bit of money, but really. So it's it's fun. It's fun to watch. It's just fun to watch and see what's going on, and uh, take off. And so, uh, congratulations to every one of you guys. Tom from Shy Town, I expect you to be there. <laughs> <laughs> you have no choice. Get there. I want to see you, uh, Marcy. Good to have you on, Marcy. Did you get your book? We'll make sure Marcy got her book. She's on tonight. I think she won a, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so, Karen, I, I can't wait to see you. I think Karen, we got the Karen's from uh, Hawaii. 
So all the way from Hawaii. Can we go there? Like, well, we, she don't to, have to come here. Yeah, we well, can go there. We're going to book the conference out in Hawaii. I think that's <laughs> what we ought to do for sure. For sure. But anyway, guys, I hope you had fun tonight. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you got inspired by Miss Spelling Bee. She inspired me. Uh, I love hearing how people are taking our tools, our platform, our product, and our system, and grabbing a hold of the strategies and just making it happen. And she, like so many others, are doing it. And you heard tonight, my key takeaways was persistence. You know, if your persistence is stronger than the resistance, you will win. You know, we are, we're all going to have things we run into. We all have... Uh, things that uh, is going to try to hold us back, but you just got to push through it. So absolutely, and uh, had had a great time there. Uh, Ron, Bam Bam, did you have a question? He said general questions asked question mark. Yeah, he had a follow up question. If you're yeah yeah, yeah 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 yeah. Okay, uh, can TW three system be used to get leads for other businesses besides real estate and insurance? So oh gosh, yeah, yeah, previous, yeah. absolutely. Matter of fact, uh, we. Uh, I've got people in the car business mm -hmm. that uh, are using a lot of this. And so it's, it's fun to watch that. Got people in the health and wellness. I mean, it's just, it, yeah. Any, learn the system. Learn the system. And then apply your content to the system. Yeah. You, you, here's the thing. You can generate leads for any industry that you have a working knowledge with. Now, that's right. that's the slow up. If if. If you don't know anything about the car business, then don't try to generate leads for cars. And that's what I tell people. They'll say, Lindsay, can you um, help me create content to generate leads for my business? And I'm like, I'm not an insurance agent. But here's the I thing. I can coach you through how to learn the system. <laughs> here's the answer to that if you ever get that again. You have what's called a blog curator. There's a training in your back that tells you exactly where to go mm -hmm. to get content for any industry. Okay. With one click of a button, it takes that content, puts it on your site, and then all you have to do is throw it out there on social media and start driving traffic. You That's don't good. have to be a content creator. You have a a software. In, I was thinking, though, if they were going to use a sales funnel and create a marketing content spe now that, specifically for an to industry. To design funnels, you have to know. I don't speak insurance lingo. Right. So, like, you have to have that language of that industry. In step seven, show them that training about that uh, final expense yeah. and some of that. And I'm about to do some more training on funnel design okay. for some specific industries like insurance and real estate to use as a template. For other industries, but those are the ones I can speak intelligently with because I, I know those. Because you speak the language. I speak the language, <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Drum lessons, yeah, absolutely. Music business, absolutely. It's just a matter of targeting, you know, uh, people that want drum lessons. And who are the people that want drum lessons? People, usually it's going to be kids and, and, and adults, you know, people that have a dream about that. I would do a lot of content marketing on social media is how I would do uh, drive the traffic for that he, he asked about that the drummer at my church was actually recently saying i would love for someone to teach me how to read music and apply that knowledge to the drums but it's yeah. hard to find people yeah uh, there's a one over i can refer you to someone okay. off camera yeah that's cool. over that would, would help on that so good stuff good stuff persistence is the key and uh peggy oh, congratulations on your um book and guys thank you for being out tonight i hope you enjoyed it remember tw3 is a tool pick it up start swinging start using it be persistent with it good things will happen till next time thank you for listening to our show today at terrywilson3.com if you would like more information on how we can take your money your business and your life to the next level then please visit us online at terrywilson3.com or call 800-673-1728. This is the Terry Wilson, really? I'm excited, Terry. All right, I want to get started here. Is this a celebrity, Terry Wilson? <laughs> oh, my word. How you doing, sir? Dude, oh, don't, don't even go there. I've been listening to this for a while, and I'm finally like, okay. God, what a privilege. I mean, 